July 24, St. Francis Solano, Franciscan missionary in South America. Francis was born in the Diocese of Cordova in Spain in the year 1549. From his earliest years, he was characterized by a modest behavior, prudent silence, and edifying meekness. His education was entrusted to the Jesuit fathers, and later he entered the Order of St. Francis. Soon he exceeded everyone in the house in humility, obedience, fervor in prayer, and self-denial. In the year 1589, he sailed for South America to preach the gospel to the Indians in Peru. While near shore, the ship struck rocks and there was a danger of drowning. The captain hurried the officers and principal passengers into the only boat there was and tried to induce the missionary to accompany them. But he refused to do so. Consoling the remaining passengers, he prayed fervently and alone kept up his hope in God's mercy. At last, rescuers arrived and all were taken off in safety. The missionary did not confine his ministry to Lima. He visited the forests and the deserts inhabited by the Indians, and by degrees he won their trust. In this way, he baptized 9,000 Indians. He was then recalled to Lima, which at the time was a godless and pagan city. Francis preached to the hardened sinners, and the whole city became converted. He wrought many miracles on the sick and sorrowful, but was in himself the greatest miracle of all. Ever busy, humble, joyful, and never uttering a single useless word, in his leisure time he composed songs to the Christ child and his blessed mother and sung them to the accompaniment of his violin so sweetly that his hearers were enraptured. His love of his neighbor was unbounded. He never thought evil of anyone and put on a good light on every action even when persecuted, culminated, and held in suspicion by his religious brethren. The proverb, as our life is, so shall be our death, was fulfilled in Francis's case. In his last painful sickness, he prayed thus, O Jesus, how do I deserve such grace? Thou wert nailed to the cross, and I am served by my brethren. Thou wert stripped of thy clothes, and I am well covered. Thou didst receive blows, and I only receive good things, my God. His last words were, God be praised, which, after he uttered, his soul departed this earth on July 14th in the year 1610. His remains were honored by a grand funeral, and he was declared blessed by Pope Clement X in the year 1675, and canonized by Benedict XIII in 1726. Francis Solano knew from experience that the lives of Christians sometimes greatly hindered the spread of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Francis lived an exemplary life himself and urged his fellow Spaniards to make their lives worthy of their baptisms.